What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have the third installment of the Massive Box series. In episode number one we did Seth Rollins. In episode two we did The Undertaker. And in episode three guys we're going to do things a little bit phenomenal here today. And we are going to be doing AJ Styles. Yes what we have here is my Massive Box full is what I like to call it. And the Massive Box series is basically just this box filled up with a bunch of different elite action figures of a certain super star and today's episode is AJ Styles and I'm very excited to get into it. There are some duplicates in this one but there are some epic and phenomenal figures in here, pun intended and we're going to take a look at them. We're going to take them out explain them, look at the figures and take a look at all of them and I'm going to give you some info about it, all the fix ups all the customs, all the whatever it is and showcase them to you so with that being said guys, let's go ahead and get started. So starting things off we have the old Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive AJ Styles with the custom shirt on there from Ring of Clothing on Instagram if you guys are interested. And this one was so hard to find when it first came out, guys. I remember it being a huge deal when it first came out. This is the WrestleMania 33 attire where he fought AJ uh, where he fought AJ Styles, where he fought Shane McMahon. It's got the white on there. You got black, red, and blue going all the way around. You got the nice elbow pad on there as always. It's like an offset. You got the red on one side and the blue on the other. Very nice attire. I, again, I remember when this first came out, everybody was just searching uh, you know, the earth for this thing, and I did do a torso swap with mine. This actually has the Mizdale torso on it and everything. I don't know why I like that torso better. I just don't like the very small torso, but there is the Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive AJ Styles. Next up, guys, we have the most recent AJ Styles Elite, and it is the Elite Series 66, but I did head swap it. I put my, uh, my head swap, or the Elite Series 66 head scan, I put it on my Elimination Chamber Custom, but you guys can see it's black. It's got like a light blue color with silver. Very nice figure. You can do some pretty cool fix-ups with this. I've seen, you know, multiple. And uh, that's the cool thing about AJ Styles figures is you can switch the kick pads out and make a completely new figure. A nice fix-up. I think this is the Survivor Series Elite head scan on this figure. It even has the forearm band here. This is actually the first figure that we got that actually had the wristbands actually molded on there. You know, the, uh, the Velcro straps from the gloves. And it's one of the only AJ Styles that comes with actual knee pads on the figure. I think those came on there. I can't even remember. But anyways, there is Elite Series 66 AJ Styles, which my boy Teenage Toy Collector found Elite Series 66 at retail. So if you guys are looking for Elite Series 66, they are starting to hit stores finally. Next up, guys, we have another AJ Styles and it is the Elimination Chamber 2019 Custom. You guys can see he's actually holding a blue ball and the reason he's holding that blue ball is because he was drawing his MDT Royal Rumble number. You know, everybody's going to draw out of the uh, Royal Rumble picker number thing so uh, that is where that came from just never removed it from his hand there is the head scan right there love this head scan I think it's one of the better ones it is a tad big but it still works good for me and what we've done here is switch out the kick pads with some blue ones I painted that up on the back I think one of these was a different color I can't remember exactly how it worked but I did add the white outsoles from Elimination Chamber and there you go I added the black details to the belt and everything like that. And voila, Elimination Chamber 2019 Elite Customs AJ Styles. Next up, guys, I I feel bad for this figure because it actually sort of shelf warms. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this actually shelf warms more than the top talent's Braun Strowman. I don't know if that's just because kids love Braun Strowman or they just don't like this figure, but Braun Strowman sells better than the top talent's AJ Styles. And this is the WrestleMania 34 attire where he fought Shinsuke. What a great looking figure. What an epic attire. And and kids just don't buy it, man. It's pretty upsetting that kids don't want this figure. I love the gray. I love the light blue. I love the silver. And it's so nice. It's like a variant to the Elite Series 66. And the blues aren't completely accurate and the same, but they look great. And I love this attire. This is probably one of my favorite AJ Styles they've ever made. And it totally shelf warms, man. It's so effed up. Next up, guys, we have probably one of my favorite AJ Styles figures in my collection. Probably the favorite. And it is this custom fantasy elite attire and this is what he wore for MDT sold out where he took on CM Punk and lost and of course got traded over to Vindication in the result of that match. It's white. It's got the uh, the light blue color, the black, and the silver and it looks really good if you compare it up to the top talents and then you compare it up to the Elite Series 66. Go ahead and get all three of them in frame here because it's going to look really sick. Hold, hold on just a second here. Just look at the epicness right there. You got three different variants. You got, you know, see that? God, that's so 
freaking beautiful. Great stuff, man. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. But in reality, I freaking love this figure. Just Jesus, man. The light blue with the white and the black contrast looks so good. I love the kick pads as well. And the light blue gloves just set it off. Beautiful looking figure. I actually am proud of myself for that one. Next up, guys, we have the Elite Series 51 AJ Styles with a screaming head scan. The only one of this figure that I have. I think I've owned this figure like five times, and every time I do, I turn it into a fix-up or a custom, but I have not yet changed this one, so I, I like that I actually have one to actually use and look at and stuff. So there is Elite 51 AJ. I wish I could have pick up more just to do the little simple fix-ups and stuff. Um, I probably need to start picking up some of those shelf-warming Top Talents AJs to do some kick pad swaps and stuff, but here's the Elite 51. Pretty plain attire. I remember when this one released, everybody was disappointed. They really wanted a red attire, and we're still to this day do not have a completely red attire AJ Styles Elite, so uh, I can imagine that people are growing pretty upset because we still don't have one, but it's a nice figure nonetheless. I just think we would have liked this one later on instead of the second AJ Styles Elite, but there it is nonetheless. Next up, guys, we have another Survivor Series AJ Styles, and this one's just the regular Elite Survivor series you know that uh one that hit walmart forever ago and now it's you know starting to show up on ringside and stuff but it does have the uh, the the weird kick pads remember he was supposed to wear this at survivor series and all we had were promo pictures we had never seen him wear it when the figure released so it was kind of weird i was like when in the hell is this from but it was supposed to be you know from that upcoming survivor series and he ended up not wearing it at survivor series or something and uh so then we got it and then he wore it like later on so that uh oh uh-oh. So there it is in all its glory with some black open knee pads. Next up, guys, we have a fix-up. I'll go ahead and show you guys the uh, variant version here. You have the regular Elite Series 47. This is the first ever AJ Styles release, and you guys can see that it does. It's, it's his Royal Rumble debut attire, I do believe, where he debuted in 2016 in the Royal Rumble. Very nice figure, old head scan, shorter hair. You know, this is the soccer mom hair before it got all long and stuff. <laughs> What an epic figure. I remember it was going for like $50 when it first came out because everybody was just freaking losing their minds over it. And then we got our Elite 56 AJ and then people started doing the fix up where you switch the kick pads out and give it a different look. And there is the result of that, if you guys can tell the difference. What a great looking figure. I, I do have a ton of this figure, as you guys will see in just a moment. But that is what I'm talking about when you can just switch the kick pads and make a whole new figure. Next up, guys, we have another couple of figures. And this is the Elite Series 56. And this is the result of, uh, you know, the regular Elite 56, which is right here, which has the blue going all the way down with the white face. And then this is what it looks like if you switch the Elite 47 kick pads onto it. Referring back to what I said again, where you can just switch to kick pads and make a new fix up figure you got the uh closed bigger knee pads on here we got a blue forearm band or elbow pad over there i got this one from tj from undisputed brotherhood my boy so that's where i got that but you guys can see again you, you switch the kick pads you can make brand new fix ups and figures really cool aj styles figures i remember when this one released everybody liked it you know it was the first one of the blue attire so everybody was going crazy for elite series 56 now we want a red attire it's time for a red attire give us a red attire aj next up Guys, we have a couple of Elite Series 63. Is it Elite Series 63 or Series 61? I think it's 61. I can't remember. But here are a couple of Elite Series 61 AJ Styles in the United States Champion attire. It's very reminiscent of his WrestleMania 33 attire where he took on Shane McMahon like you see. You got the blue on one side and the red on the other. You got the AJ logo on the side there that's got the United States flag going through it. On the other side, you got the P1 logo with that same exact pattern. Really cool figure. I, I'm not a big fan of this head scan. I remember when it first came out, I was, but now I just want a bunch of Elite Series 66 head scans, even though a lot of people don't like that head scan. I am a fan, and I wish that, you know, I had more of it so I could switch it on to all my AJs. I guess I got to wait until a basic comes out or maybe, you know, like I have a ton of top talent Seth Rollins head scans now. Now I'm just going to wait until I can get some Elite Series 66 AJ Styles head scans. But there is that. You even have the red on the elbow pad there. Really cool figure, even though I wish they would have went with a different blue. I feel like that blue is just weird. I don't know. Next up, we have two more fix-ups of Elite Series 61, guys. This is one that I really like. I switched out the knee pads for a blue and red knee pad on this one. I think it, since I have so many of that one figure, I thought it'd be cool to switch out. And you guys can see the result of that. You got the blue on the right side, the red on the left side really completes it so there's that and then this one is just you know the black open knee pads and actually to make that custom elimination chamber AJ I had to switch out this kick pad with my uh, Survivor Series Elite you can see what that's why this uh, 
This is different here. You guys will see the kick pads a little different, but that has the black knee pads on. That's what it was before I switched the kick pad. Coming down, I think uh, the rest of them are just duplicates. Let's go ahead and look here. We have a few. We have two Elite Series 56 right here, and this is just a normal Elite Series 56 as you guys saw before. This is another one of those. Oh, he's got like skin tone lower legs. I don't know what that uh, that's about, but this is pretty much another Elite Series 56 with the Elite 47 kick pad swap. It also has the blue forearm band. I don't think the rest do. So you, you see you guys can see there's like little tweaks to them here and there, but they can, you know, make some sweet fix-ups for AJ Styles figures. So there's those two. Next up, we have literally four different Elite Series 47s, guys. And this is not counting the ones that you guys already saw, but here they are. You have four different Elite 47s. Again, I said I had a bunch of them, and I wasn't lying to you. These two are just regular and plain. No knee pads, no nothing. This is straight up out of the packaging. One day, these will probably be some new AJ Styles customs, so there's those, and then we have the ones where uh, it's the Elite 47 with the Elite 56 kick pads and some blue knee pads on there. Very nice fix up by TJ from Undisputed Brotherhood. And then we have another Elite 47 with just knee pads added. So I have a ton of the Elite 47. And the last AJ Styles figure that we have, guys, is the other half of that AJ Styles Elimination Chamber Custom. And you guys can see the left kick pad is switched out instead of the right kick pad. And there's red on this side instead of the... And the blue is missing from over here because I switched it from the Survivor Series figure. So it looks stupid now. I would like to take one of these figures and, and fix it up. Maybe paint over some of this stuff and give it like my own white attire. Because you guys know white's my favorite color. You can make some sick fantasy attires. But that is it for all the AJ Styles figures, man. They are piled up over here. I'm going to have to set them all up. I know a lot of them were pretty similar. They weren't, you know, there weren't very many fix-ups. Again, I would love to have multiple of the top talents of the Elite Series 66 and the Elite 51 so I could do the switches like I did for 56 and 47. I just haven't had a chance to get them, but that is the last AJ Styles figure, guys. Now I'm going to line them all up and finish up this episode of the Massive Box Series. So here are all the AJ Styles lined up, guys. That pretty much does it for the third installment of the Massive Box Series. Thank you guys so very very much for watching. Of course, let me know down in the comment section below of superstars you would like to see in the future of this Massive Box series. Again, we've seen Seth freaking Rollins, The Undertaker, and now the phenomenal AJ Styles. So if you guys would like to see another superstar, please let me know down in the comment section below who that would be. I would really much appreciate it. I think it's about 4 a.m. where I am now, and now I'm about to go film the Rumble for about the next five hours and try to knock it out so that we can get this hoe up by my deadline next weekend. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.